France and did the Cordon Bleu School, and um, she knows much. Now, nutrition is extremely important. She'll talk about that, but for the brain, it's extremely important, and I'll talk about that at the end. But I'd like to introduce our first Renaissance woman, Jackie. Thank you very much, Priscilla. It's a pleasure to be here, and I um, had the pleasure of uh, sitting with a group of women at lunch that uh, inspired me to get up and move a little bit more in my presentation, which was much more my style. I was very constrained behind that podium. So I'm going to um, flip through some overheads, and uh, I'm also going to prompt myself with my notes, because I do better when I have my notes in my hand, even though I can make up anything off the top of my head. <laughs> I want to make sure I give you the right information, so I'm going to refer to my notes, which are printed on recycled paper. Uh, you, have the fine, you have the benefit of reading the, the routing on the back side for one of our drivers in June of 2007. Uh, my company is called Nutrafit. We're a healthy food company. We're based in, here in Southern California, and I started this company 23 years ago uh, because I have this, um, this sort of unresolved issue around feeding people well that is probably a result of losing my dad when I was going to school here at USC, very untimely, early, uh, sudden, sudden death from heart disease. And um, so in there somewhere is the roots of why you come back to doing things for other people. Because you want to pre prevent them from losing a parent or losing their own life uh, at, to something that's now preventable, right? Heart health, we know, is something we can do something about. So how does that relate back to being beautiful? Well, I think beauty starts on the inside. It starts with what you eat, which gives you your body, your mind, and uh, your largest organ, the skin, what it needs to be um, healthy and vital. And that's where beauty comes from. So we know that <clears throat> there are a lot of studies that show that particular foods have great health properties. That's nothing new, right? We all know broccoli is good for us. We know we should have fruits and vegetables. We know it's important to hydrate. We know, you know water is... Uh, you know, our body is 70% water and we need to make sure we have plenty of it. But what we don't know quite as much about is how foods work in pairs to provide exponential benefit to our body. And that's some of what I wanted to give you a taste of today in our discussion. So I'm going to flip through the overheads here and talk about some what I call power couples. These are foods that when paired have a much greater nutritional significance than when eaten individually, right? So there are categories of foods that have certain nutrients that when coupled together have even exponentially greater health benefit, all right? So one of the things that I'm hampered with is um, the fact that the slides don't necessarily correlate in order to my notes. I'm going to ask your forgiveness, and I'm just going to speak uh, from what I know, okay? And, and bear in mind, it may not be what you're looking at. So there you go. That's just the nature of what it is. I'm going to talk about sulforaphane, and maybe I can like go forward till I find it. There would, that would be intelligent, right? Sulforaphane, it's at the end, and selenium, which is misspelled. So yes, it is missing an N. It's S-L-E. S-E-L-E-N-I-U-M, but sulforaphane and selenium are together combined uh, a terrific cancer-fighting team. And we know that cancer is very debilitating. It's also the second largest killer of women in this country and probably in the world. Um, and you can help boost your immune system and your cancer-fighting uh, antioxidant capacity by combining foods that are rich with uh, in selenium with foods that are rich in sulforaphane. And sul sulforaphane is found in the um, cruciferous family of vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, bok choy. You know, crucifer comes from crucifer the cross. So vegetables that have a cross at its base is how you can identify a cruciferous vegetable. Turn that thing over and look at the way the cabbage leaves come out in the shape of a cross. It's your key to the fact that it's a... a um, 
cruciferous vegetable and therefore rich in sulforaphane. Broccoli is uh, one of them, cabbage is another. And foods that have selenium, nuts, here we are picturing walnuts, which of course are one of nature's healthiest nuts, very high in selenium. Um, uh, you can also get selenium from other foods uh, like nuts and seeds and uh, even mushrooms and poultry and seafood. But when you pair those two things together, you have um, a great cancer fighting team. Let's talk about lycopene and vitamin E. And I think, where is that? Lycopene and vitamin E. There we go, right here. Lycopene, the combination of these two antioxidants can reduce the rate that the body breaks down LDL, or the bad cholesterol, by as much as half, which can cut your risk of heart disease significantly. So it's not just that you're having foods that are rich in lycopene, it's, or foods that are rich in vitamin E, which we know to be very heart protective and also a powerful antioxidant. It's the fact that you're combining them together. So lycopene we know is found in tomatoes and tomato-based products, but it's also found in watermelon. Watermelon gets a, a very bad rap. We think watermelon is just sugar and water. Well, watermelon is a lot more than sugar and water. It's a lot of vitamin C, it's a lot of lycopene, it's a lot of prostate uh, cancer prevention, which is good for the guys in our lives. And it's also um, a very powerful antioxidant when combined with the foods that are rich in, uh, from the grain family that are rich in vitamin E. So we want that lycopene and vitamin E combination. Um, here I'm showing watermelon with grains and you're thinking, how do I put that in a meal together? But here's some suggestions. How about a spicy citrus and jicama salad um, tomatoes stuffed with cream spinach. That's not what you're looking at, but that's what I'm looking at. And I gotta tell you, it works as a great combination of lycopene and vitamin E. Papaya uh, salsa is a good combination. Tropical dried fruit and nuts would be a good combination of lycopene and vitamin E. Um, one thing that I don't have a picture of, so I neglected it to mention it in the first uh, discussion, but I want to make sure we talk about it. And this is something that came up at lunch. We were talking about food and the combination of food and how it's so important to know how to put foods together to get the most out of them. And I brought up avocado because avocado, we know, is a very helpful food. Some of us stay away from it because it's kind of high in fat, but you know that it is a very, very healthful fat. But did you know that the fat in avocado and eating an avocado with any other fruit and vegetable can create a power combination that is unbelievable. That um, avocado with corn and tomatoes, right, for example, or avocado with mangoes, avocado with tabbouleh, that combination of avocado with any other vegetable will allow your body to absorb four times as much lutein, eight times as much alpha carotene, and 13 times as much beta carotene as consuming that food without the avocado. So talk about exponential benefit. Avocado and the healthy fat in avocado is what allows the body to take up all those other important nutrients. So you wanna think about, maybe rethink uh, um, your your avocado consumption, remember that a portion of avocado is a quarter of a medium avocado. That's the key with avocados is not having more than you really uh, need, but having some can be a powerful boost. Vitamin C and iron. I know we talk about vitamin C and lycopene here. Um, let's talk about vitamin C and iron. Iron we know is very important for women. As women, we lose iron every month in menstruation, so women tend to be iron deficient. Um, some of us who eat red meat are getting good iron, heme iron in the form of the red meat, but for those that are trying to minimize their animal consumption for either political reasons or health reasons and moving towards a more plant-based diet, more vegetarian diet, Iron can be a challenge because the iron that's found in vegetables, the non-heme iron that is found in vegetables, 
is not as readily absorbed by the body. The body loves that meat, you know? The body just wants to take up that iron and put it to use in the blood and the working muscles, but it likes to pass over the plant iron. So to get the body to absorb the plant iron, you want to combine that iron-rich vegetable or plant food with something that's very high in vitamin C. By doing so, you triple the body's absorption of the iron. So when you come to that spinach salad and you're eating those spinach salads, right, because you know they're good for you and that's good lutein for the eyes and iron for the blood, remember that spinach salad's got to have some red bell peppers, some carrots, some tomatoes, some raspberry vinaigrette, some sliced strawberries, some oranges, some mandarin oranges, anything that's high in vitamin C. And it will unlock the iron in that plant food, allow your body to take it up and put it to use. What else do we have to talk about? Oh, I was talking about the iron and lentils. Lentils are very high in folate also. We don't want to forget about folate for heart health, for cancer prevention, and for the prevention of neural tube defects, uh, spina bifida, um, very important for folate consumption. And here we have an example of another great benefit from folate when you combine it with something that's high in vitamin B12, like eggs, which are uh, very nutritious and a good source of vitamin B12 as well as uh, protein, um, and grains, which are another example of a food that's high in folate. We talked about lentils being high in folate, but so too are whole grains high in folate. Put those two things together, and you have heart-healthy cancer fighters. And we know that when our hearts are healthy, we're pumping blood efficiently, right? And blood carries oxygen, and oxygen goes to the brain, and when your brain is properly oxygenated, you're smarter, you're more alert, your eyes are brighter, your energy is higher, your vitality is exuding from you. And don't you look more beautiful? I mean, you, do do, you feel more beautiful, right? You feel better about yourself. And it starts from the inside out. Many combinations here, we talk about inulin and bif uh, um, bifidus, which is the, you know, the uh, favorable bacteria that's found in yogurt, combining that with uh, bananas. So you've got yogurt and banana as a terrific combination that aids in digestion. These are all ways to couple the food together that you eat to form what we call these power couples. And I have... Um, uh, reference material that is written in a more comprehensive and cohesive fashion than the way I've been able to articulate it to you here today. So I want to invite you to go to the website, um, the uh, JackieKeller.com website or the NutriFit Online website. Remember, make food your best friend and make exercise your greatest enjoyment. If you do that, you will be beautiful from the inside out and you'll feel great the rest of your life. And Jackie, that's all I have to say. Oh, I was going to say something about sleep. I don't want to forget. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Sleep. If you're going to do any one thing that is non-invasive and inexpensive for your body, get more rest. It's, it, it, it is, um, as a young person, I wish I realized how sleep affects every other aspect of your life because we think we can go. We can go, we can go, we can go. And you can go 12, 13, 14, 15 hours a day. But if you aren't sleeping the other seven or eight hours a day, you are really compromising your overall ability to stay beautiful and feel energized. Get rest. Find a way to incorporate it, schedule it, do whatever you have to do to calm yourself down at night, journal, uh, if it means journaling, if it means having a cup of tea, if it means meditating for a few minutes, if it means reconnecting with yourself, 